Hello and welcome to this edition of Safety First. I'm your host, Frank Poulin. Today we're here at the Suffolk Police Department with Major James Bowie. Major, thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Now, today we kind of want to talk about, you guys have rolled out kind of a new initiative, something called Narcan. Yes, sir. And now, now what exactly is Narcan? The official name for it is intranasal naloxone. Okay. It's, it's called Narcan. It's, it's, uh, it's used to reverse the effects of opiates um, on the central nervous system. When okay, so, so, so how exactly does it work? Do you have to inject it? Is it? What we have, um, they are, they are, there are injectable types of Narcan, but what we have are the nasal spray. Okay. The intranasal spray, which is used really just like you would, you would use a nasal spray. Oh, really? It's that simple? Yes, it's, it, the officer would get there, and um, once they determine that it's a possible overdose, mm -hmm. they would just um, apply the nasal spray, and um, that would reverse the effects of the opiate taken. Oh, wow. So are all police cars equipped with... Narcan, and, or but, how, how to do that to check it out? How does it work? Because of the sensitivity to temperature for the or Narcan, they, the product is kept at, at the police precincts. Okay. And some here at police headquarters is kept here because it's um, climate controlled. Really? And the officers, each shift, each patrol shift that comes in will check it out as they would check out a radar or as they would check out um, an AED or any other type of equipment. So they check it out every day when they come to work and they check it back in when their tour is completed. Okay, and, and, and how exactly did this you know, reason for kind of carrying Narcan come about? Well, um, our retired major, Stephanie Birch, started the program and it came about mainly because of the increase in overdoses that we were having, really? not only in our city, but really throughout the country and throughout Hampton Roads. It's kind of a nationwide epidemic at the moment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, although in our city um, we're getting less of it than oh, most good. other cities, okay. that the need we, we felt the need was there um, due to the fact that our officers are more times than not the first off, the first emergency personnel on scene. Okay. And because of that, they're able to render life-saving procedures um, by having Narcan with them. Got it. Instead of waiting for EMS to kind of arrive, yes, sir. They can administer it right on site. Yes, sir. Okay. And, and so, as you kind of touched on, the opioid epidemic here is not nearly as bad as it is nationwide. Have we had a lot of overdoses, or? Well, we have our, our share. We have more than normal here, more than we normally have, and that was the reason that we wanted to get something in place. We we felt like that we were that we were losing people just due to the fact that we they weren't getting. They weren't getting the use of Narcan um, in time. In time, okay. Yeah, so and and, 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 and w w how how fast does I guess Narcan uh, take effect? And it's immediate. Is it? It's immediate, yes. And it's something that just reverses the effects of the opiate taken, whether it be heroin, morphine, Percocet, you know, or um, any other opiate. It, re it reverses that effect. And uh, the officers carry in their kits. They carry two doses of okay. Narcan. You get they're given one dose, and if it doesn't um, take effect then they can give the second dose. Oh, really? Okay. By that time, um, our firefighters and EMS, they carry Narcan also. All right. So um, by the time, the first if we had to give our second yeah. dose, then they should be there by then to give more doses if needed. Okay. And in, in, does something like Narcan as like a normal prescription drug, do, does it expire or? And there is an expiration, there is a shelf life for it. Okay. And it, the, the expiration date is on the the Narcan packet itself. Really? Okay. So no, but it, it, the shelf life of it appears to be about two years. Okay. About a two-year shelf life for it, and then it needs to be replaced. Okay. And, and is there enough for every officer to carry? How, how many did you buy, I guess? Yeah. How did... Every, uh, we, we um, purchased 60, what we call 60 kits. Okay. So they're 60 two-pack doses. Okay. And they're kept at the, uh, we have more than enough at our precincts, and more than enough here at headquarters for every person that's on the street on that particular shift oh, well. will carry Narcan okay. with them. And, so. and, and how, how did you acquire the Narcan? Did you, did you buy it outright or was there a grant It, it was it? purchased through a grant for, from the um, OBC Healthcare Foundation. Okay, so they obviously recognized that there, this was an issue and they wanted to kind of yeah. give you guys um, aid in kind of assisting yes, as, as a first responder. Yes, sir. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I, be, I believe you covered most of it. Um, just the fact that the, the officers having the Narcan is just another tool for them as they had AEDs is to another tool for them to offer life life saving procedures, you know, as the first yeah. responders on scene. I mean just another tool for them to to better help the citizens of Suffolk. So, so is there any kind of training on it, or is it just kind of, e you, you said it was kind of a nasal spray, so it's yes, that sir, easy it's to a, use? It is not difficult to use at all, but okay. all of our officers um, throughout the entire police department have been trained. Okay. It's a, a two-hour block of instruction. Oh, really? Oh. 
that they all received okay. on how to do it. And it is, um, I mean, you can't, if the person is not suffering from an opiate effect and you administer Narcan, that's not going to hurt them. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, if it's administered and that it's not needed to be administered, okay. it's not going to so hurt So it's har them. harmless kind of if you yes. administer it and it's not yes. needed. And it's, it's, but, it, but it's kind of the, one of the adages of better safe than sorry. Yes, sir. Okay. If, if you believe that there is possibly an overdose, then better to use it than not. Okay. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. And thank you at home for joining us for this edition of Safety First. Be well.